Hey guys, Astro Bella here. And today we're talking about the astrology of the week ahead, February 5th to February 11th, 2024. And boy, oh boy, do we have a week ahead of us. And real quick, if you're watching me on YouTube and you like what I have to say, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're listening on the Astro Bella app, thank you so much for downloading and I hope you're enjoying it so far. All right, let's dive right in because we have a lot to go over. <laughs> on February 5th, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, of thinking, of our intellect, moving into the sign of Aquarius. Now, we've already got some Aquarian energy going on, as you may have heard. Pluto's in Aquarius. The sun is in Aquarius. And now Mercury is entering the chat. Okay, so this energy is going to be even more potent. But what makes this ingress of Mercury so special is that right upon its entry into this new territory, it's meeting up with Pluto at that zero degree of Aquarius, which is a very potent degree in astrology. It's when things manifest the most. We feel things the hardest, okay? It's it's showing us what this sign is all about. And with Mercury and Pluto fusing their energies together on February 5th, you can expect to be thinking a lot deeper, to be making crazy realizations, to be uncovering new layers of truth, of hidden depths, to feel very inquisitive at this time, to go full on detective mode, okay? It's like you are gonna be thinking and seeing clearer than you ever have before, okay? In a new way. Maybe you've thought that clear before, but this is on a new level, right? Because this is the first time that Mercury and Pluto are meeting up in the sign of Aquarius. And this is initiating an entirely new cycle, a new beginning, a new way of seeing the world, a new way of being, a new way of understanding and communicating. And we're all going to feel it. On some levels, this is an awakening of the mind. Okay, it's going to be big and it's what we've been waiting for. Okay, we are moving into uncharted territory right now. After Mercury enters Aquarius, we'll have Mars entering Aquarius, Venus entering Aquarius, also making conjunctions with Pluto, which we'll discuss in the weeks ahead. All these planets are entering Aquarius and fusing their energies with Pluto to initiate all these new beginnings. And we're gonna be seeing what the possibilities are right now in a new way for the future. We're gonna be aligning with our soul tribe. We're gonna be aligning with truth. We're gonna be aligning with our own truth, speaking our truth, communicating our truth. Now, Pluto's energy isn't always the easiest to deal with because it's intensity. It's power, but it's also power struggles. It's obsessive thinking. It's compulsive thinking. It's lying awake at night, overthinking, really wanting to get to the bottom of something and not stopping, not stopping for anything, okay? So this is an awakening of the mind. This is a, a huge transit, okay? And this is the first real planetary conjunction that Pluto is, is making with another planet in Aquarius, exactly. Okay, so this is a time when we're really gonna be able to see what, what is this all about? We're gonna understand on a mental level what this energy is all about, and we're gonna be able to peer into the future in a way that we haven't in a really long time. So this is really exciting energy. The second major transit of this week is on February 6th, when Jupiter, that's in Taurus right now, makes a sextile with Saturn in Pisces. Now, this is a very positive aspect. And while we have all this other deep, inquisitive stuff happening, simultaneously, we're also being given this boost to continue to work hard because the universe wants to reward us right now. The universe wants our hard work to pay off, finally, because Saturn is hard work and Jupiter is abundance, is blessings, is good fortune. 
And when these two planets align in a positive way like this, we're being encouraged to go after our dreams, but in a way where we're not afraid to work. We're not afraid to take the necessary steps to go after our dreams right now. So discipline, structure, hard work, patience, all of these types of qualities will be very greatly rewarded right now. So you're being encouraged by the universe to, to take the steps necessary. Don't try to skip any steps. Don't try to just jump ahead to the finish line and do everything you need to do or, or take shortcuts. Do everything, do everything that you need to do, but do it in a very structured and orderly way, even if it feels tedious. Even if it feels like, oh my goodness, this is so boring. <laughs> it's okay to be bored sometimes. It's okay to just buckle down, to focus, and to get it done because you are going to be rewarded. And we are moving forward. We're cutting through the BS. We're making realizations. We're working hard towards our dreams. We're, we're being given the green light to move forward right now. So take advantage of that energy on the 6th. Then on February 7th, we have another positive aspect, and that is Venus trine Uranus, okay? Now, Venus is the planet of love, of beauty, of art, of all things that are pleasurable, okay? And Uranus is the great disruptor, okay? The bringer of unexpected surprises, the eccentric one, the, the planet that brings things that are very out of the blue, the planet that does things differently. So when these two planets come together, in a very harmonious aspect, this encourages us to express ourselves in a very authentic and genuine way to embrace the things that make us who we are, that make us unique, to do things differently, to try things differently in your relationship, in, in the way you express yourself through art, through the way that you dress, through the way that you look, this is a time when you're going to feel you want to break free. You're going to want to go against the norm. And, and if you do actually at this time, the results are going to be positive. Okay. The results are going to be working in your favor. There's a lot of planetary energy that is supporting you this week that wants to help you, that, that wants to work in your favor. Okay. We are sailing through uncharted waters right now. Okay. And all of this planetary energy is coming together to let you know that it's going to be okay, <laughs> that it's okay. This new territory that we're entering, it's okay to be here and it's okay to be whoever you want in it. It's okay to speak your truth, to connect with other like-minded individuals that, that see the world the way that you do. And the more authentic that you are at this time, the easier it'll be for you to align with who you're meant to be aligned with to the people who you're meant to do something bigger in this world with, that you have a bigger purpose with. So just trust what comes, trust your impulses, and don't be afraid to show the world who you are and to express yourself in a very unique way. Now on the 8th of February, we have another aspect with Uranus, and it's a little bit of a more challenging aspect. The sun will be exactly squaring Uranus. And in astrology, a square is a tensor aspect between two planets so there will be this element of a shocking revelation that comes your way but it will be a little bit tougher to handle so there's going to be a lot of shocks and surprises and twists and turns this week they might throw you for a loop you're going to feel very supported in expressing yourself in a creative way in a very creative and unique way, an authentic way, but there could be something that comes out of it that feels a little bit uncomfortable with the sun squaring Uranus in this way. So it's, it's making you feel the need to break free and rebel, but the results may be a little jarring because either the people around you maybe a little thrown off by how you're expressing yourself or or the people around you they may surprise you and start expressing themselves in weird ways okay people are going to be acting weird everyone's going to be surprising one another truth is going to be coming out there's going to be stuff 
totally out of the blue that shocks us all and, and makes us rethink almost everything. We're gonna be like, what is happening this week? Like, where are we headed? We're gonna have moments of clarity, but then we're gonna have moments of fear as well. But that's okay. It's okay to feel afraid or confused. Sit with that feeling, investigate that feeling, find out where this fear is coming from, why? Why is this throwing you off? Why are you afraid of change? Why are you afraid of the future? And this is a time where it's really important to just adopt a sense of faith and know that it's gonna be okay and keep going, keep moving because even if it feels uncomfortable, you need this, okay? This is what you need to grow. You need to go through these changes, okay? That's why they're called growing pains because growth hurts sometimes and can totally throw you for a loop and make you feel anxious or, or confused or nervous. There's this, uh, there's a nervousness that's associated with Uranus. And the very next day on the 9th, we have a new moon which is in Aquarius, which is when the sun and the moon are aligned. And they're also gonna be squaring Uranus. So this is a new beginning, again, another new beginning, and it's going to be still affected by that square to Uranus. So it's gonna be a shocking new beginning, something unexpected. It's going to show you a new path, but you might see this new path and say, wait a minute, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take this path. This wasn't the path that I was planning on traveling down, but it's gonna open up to you. You're gonna see it and you're gonna say, well, okay, this is enticing. This is exciting, but I'm nervous about it. <laughs> I'm nervous to move forward on this path. That's what this new moon energy on the ninth is, all, is gonna be about. Big changes, big revelations, big shocks, but big opportunities as well big opportunities that you have the potential to seize and allow to positively transform your life. But it requires you to be brave, to be incredibly brave, to, <laughs> to look face to face with the unknown and say, I'm ready. You know what? I'm ready for something new. It might be scary, but... I'm going to trust. I'm going to take a leap of faith. That's what this new moon's all about. Taking a leap of faith and trusting yourself and your gut and knowing that things are unfolding just as they should. But anytime something is totally new or anytime we encounter this new experience or this new territory, it's it can be scary because what's hiding... What's hiding around the corner? Is there a monster that's going to pop out and scare me as I'm exploring this new land, this, this new territory? What's, what's, what lies ahead? We don't know what lies ahead, but we have to keep moving forward because the universe is pushing us to do so. We cannot stay where we are anymore. We need to continue to move forward. We need to do things differently. We need to be who we are. We need to stay true to ourselves and trust ourselves at this time and allow the people who are meant to come into our lives to come into our lives. This is a time when your authenticity is going to be rewarded, okay? Be true to who you are and people that appreciate that will come into your life. People that, people that Share, share that same vision, those same feelings that you do. You're going to align with those people. Because if you try to be someone that you're not, you're going to align with the wrong people. Okay, Aquarius is all about the collective. Okay, and this is a time when you are aligning with your soul tribe, with who you're meant to do things with on this planet, with who you're meant to make a big change on this planet. Okay, the pe because... The power is being given to the group right now, not the individual. So powerful alliances will be formed. Trust that. Just keep being your authentic self. If, if you don't see these people coming into your life, just keep doing you. Keep being true to yourself and what you believe in your heart.
there's also an element of aligning with our destinies now in a very positive way because this new moon will be making positive aspects to the north and the south node, which are destiny points in our chart. The north node is a destiny point. The south node represents our past life energy or the energy that we're letting go of. But because of the positive aspects to both from the new moon, it's like, yeah, we're walking away from something and we're moving towards something new that's actually connected to this greater destiny. So it might feel uncomfortable, but you have to trust that it's it's you're being pushed in the right direction. So keep moving with it, even if it feels uncomfortable, even if it's it's a lot and it, it's anxiety inducing even. Um, it's really important to take care of yourself on the day of the new moon, to be kind with yourself and practice self-care rituals and really just go within and, and allow yourself to feel what you need to feel, tap into your intuition, meditate, get a massage, go out in nature, do some breath work, whatever it takes, really nourish your soul at this time because there's going to be a lot of processes happening within, a lot of shifts and change and and transformations and new pathways opening up in, in the actual world and in your brain too so it's like it's like a metamorphosis this, this is the energy of metamorphosis so be very kind to yourself that day now we're ending the week off on a very positive note i would say on the 10th because mercury is square jupiter now Normally a square aspect is a little bit of a tougher energy, right? But any aspect with Jupiter, which is the planet of abundance, good fortune and expansion is pretty much a positive aspect. And especially because Mercury just began this new cycle with Pluto, okay? We're gonna be thinking very deep and we're gonna wanna expand. We're gonna make a lot of realizations this week and Jupiter is helping us take those realizations and allow them to help our minds expand, to see the bigger possibilities, to dream bigger, to think bigger, to realize my life could be much more than what I thought it was or what I thought it could be. I could do so much more. We're gonna be thinking really big by the end of the week, especially after everything we just went through. We're gonna be like, whoa, like mind blown. So, just be careful because sure any aspect with jupiter is is going to be a positive one but the square one does bring a little tension so be careful with any type of delusion <laughs> or you know getting a little too ungrounded in the way that you're thinking remember balance patience you know jupiter just made that sextile to saturn hard work is required so we're allowed to think big and to see the greater possibilities now because thinking big will is what can create a big life okay believing that something is possible is what will essentially allow it to be possible but it's really important that we stay grounded at the same time and remember we are in the 3d physical world okay so we do have to take practical steps to get to this big life that you want to live to expand on that level we still have to operate within this physical world so think big but remain balanced and remain grounded and that wraps up your week ahead thank you guys so much for being here and for listening and good luck okay you guys got this it's going to be an adventure it's going to be exciting it's going to be different it's going to be new it's going to throw us for a loop, but this is what we've been waiting for. I know you can handle it. Love you guys. See you next time.